Hey guys, um, damn, look at all this crowd, man. So many people going to see Inside Out 2. Yeah, look at all this. Sorry, wait, uh, look at this. Like, holy shit, yeah. Oh man. Alright, guys, so yeah, I just got out of watching Inside Out 2, and yeah, there's the poster for it, and yeah, alright, they're out here now. Yeah, first of all, this is the most packed theater I've been to in a while. Like, post pandemic, like from 2019 until the pandemic, this is the most packed theater I've ever been to. So many people watching this movie. So crowded, long lines. Uh, yeah, but holy shit. Yeah, I gotta say, man, Inside Out 2 literally exceeded my expectations. I am just so floored of how good it was and I was like in tears um, and I can't believe how good this was like even though I knew I was gonna love this movie because of how good the marketing is like seriously the um and I'm honestly lost for words just the fact that it's actually this good like left me shocked man um yeah and this is the best animated film of the year already the best anime film of the year this has to win the Oscars for best anime feature otherwise I don't know what else is gonna win. Like it's already this movie, and while I don't think it it tops, I don't think it's you know, like Elemental. Like because Elemental is my favorite Pixar movie. This is honestly my second favorite Pixar movie, second only behind Elemental. Like yeah, that good. Uh, and the fact that I put uh, Pixar's two recent films as their two as my two favorites is outstanding. It's something, and yeah, it is better than the first film in every single way possible i am not being recently biased i don't it, it's really is better than the first film and then um like where do i start with this um maybe it, even though i cried in the end like it, maybe emotionally not really like it, it won't make you cry as much as the original however the story the writing the, re the relatability takes things to a whole new level this is genuine this is genuinely one of the best written written um animated films i have ever seen the writing of this movie is so sharp it's so grounded it's so powerful like the messages are so powerful it's so relatable i really saw myself in riley like like i can't believe how hard i cannot believe how hard they went with her and um the new emotions are better than the old emotions by the way yeah especially anxiety and envy anxiety if you can count see anxiety as, as a vid, as a villain, actually yeah, she is a villain. I won't say what happens to her at the end, you'll just see for yourself. But let me just say she is the best Pixar antagonist, period. Like you, the, the movie just makes you question how are they going to solve all the problems now? Uh like and even even in the climax, you like I got chills down my like my spine and my arms. I got so much chills. Uh, like when I, with me like wondering, how are they going to solve the problems now? Uh, how are they going to fix this? Uh, and it, it's just so unpredictable and it's so many levels. And um, yeah, the animation is certainly better. Like, and even it's hilarious too. I mean, the jokes, like this might be the funniest Pixar movie. I am not joking. Um, like, the, like there is a joke in this movie where they literally make fun of baby shows. Like, they literally mock baby shows. They mocked Dora. And I was like, holy shit, man, that is brilliant. Uh, like, yeah, you, you got the sarcasm joke from the trailer and all those jokes in the trailers. But yeah, they mock baby shows. That is probably, the, the, like, that is so smart for a joke. And yeah, this is one of uh, Pixar's smartest films. As far as my 2024 ranking goes, I'd say it's at number three. Behind, it's my third favorite film of the year behind uh, Furiosa and Dune Part 2. And yeah, um, this is probably the best Disney movie of the year so far. And this is, this is why I love Disney. Like, this is seriously why I love Disney. And yeah. Yeah. And I know some of you guys are not excited for this one because of Inside Out Fan. Give this one a chance. This is not a movie you, you, you want to target. It. If you want to just, uh, you know... Hey, it's one of his fans' favorite movies. I mean, you got Chos Band together and Ralph Bracey and all that stuff. This does not deserve to be one of them. It is just so well made. 
and I think it's even more well made in the first film. It's just maybe the emotion is not as strong, but it's just more well made, more well written. I mean, and it's more personal to me than the first film. And yeah, so yeah, I mean, I was already hyped for it, but the fact that it's this good really surprised me. And yeah, uh, I'm definitely gonna see this movie again at some point. So yeah, what are your what are your thoughts? So yeah, no, I don't. Um, so yeah, so for my LTI reaction, stay tuned for my review. I have a lot to, and I mean a lot to say. So yeah, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the review and go see this movie. Yeah, we this movie needs to make more money than Despicable Me 4, by the way. So yeah.